Yeah, years ago, yeah. Uh, I met a guy, a um, very uh, hard guy, very powerful guy. Um, his name was Ronnie Brown. I don't think there's many people out there who, who might have not, a lot of people out there haven't heard of him. But Ronnie Brown was one of the pen, was one of the people who got to a big Z uh, over the wall, ones of, ones of prison. Uh, I think he was one of the ones that pulled him up, um, Ronnie Brown. Ronnie Brown was a, a very hard, hard man, yeah? Ronnie Brown could have really, really ever around, yeah? Short guy, five foot ten, five foot nine, powerful, powerful built, um, very good, very good robber. Um, his brother, uh, I met his brother in Chelmsford prison. His brother's a little bit, um, it wasn't, it didn't talk, it was a little bit simple, but it, all you should do all day, they called him, uh, they called him uh, Blackie, yeah? But he always used to do all day, he was run. And he used to, when it was summertime, he used to take his shirt off and run. He was, he was black, he was hairy and black. That's why they called him Blackie. Um, his brother was a bit of a nutcase. Um, he was a bit simple, but he could never work fight. I mean, he was dangerous, you don't want to upset him, yeah? Uh, Ronnie Brown, short, thick seller, fella. Um, when I talked to him in my father-in-law's house, Ronnie Brown, he liked, he liked me, Ronnie Brown. He liked me because I was fight. I'm a, I'm a fighter. He had a lot of respect for me, Ron. He, was, he was, like, talk, talked to me a lot about his life. And uh, he talked to me at the time he, he, he bashed up um, Johnny Binden, yeah? He said that Johnny Binden got a bit leery with him because that's how Johnny Binden, where he was. And Ronnie Brown knocked his spark out. But not only did Ronnie Brown knock his spark out, he smashed him to pieces. I mean, he really bashed up Johnny Brennan, bad, you know, bad. And uh, any, anybody ch check this guy out, uh, Ronnie Brown, yeah? Uh, I like one. I liked one a lot. Um, you had to give him respect for what he was. You, you did have to give him respect. I mean, the guy wasn't, just didn't shout, good on rubber, mate. Good on the pavement, very good on the pavement. I mean, excellent, you know. I used to sit down in my father-in-law's house and talk. Um, my father-in-law knew lo lo loads and loads of people, loads of people, but very dangerous people too. Um, my father-in-law, as I say, he, he came to kill me a, few, a couple of three times, his father-in-law. Um, he never succeeded, thank you very much. <laughs> but he came close, yeah. It was my fault. Um, I got a little bit over the top. I was a bit, uh, bit, a bit stupid, smashing the cars up and, and things like that and, you know, calling them all names and and things which I shouldn't have done, disrespectful. Uh, but as I say, my father-in-law knew a lot of people. Uh, but Ronnie Brown, um, and that's, I mean, you think about it, how much arsehole must you have, yeah, to pull up outside Wandsworth Prison. And when Wandsworth Prison was one of the worst prisons in England, well, I think it was the worst prison ever. It had messed up all them guard trees and all them prisons up north and, and all them sort of people. It was smashed into pieces. Wandsworth was bad, bad. Winchester, all them, it was smashing it in pieces. One's just, one's a prison was the worst prison to be in, yeah? And Ronnie Brown, right, pulled up outside in a big van, right, a big van, a removal van, with a couple of other people. I think, I think Paul Seaborn was one of them as well. Paul Seaborn, I know Ronnie Brown was definitely one of them, uh, and pulled Bigsy up, and pulled Bigsy and, and set Bigsy on his way, yeah? So fair play. Give him all the respects in the, in the world, Ronnie Brown, and for what he did. Uh, anybody that get, can get someone like that, Big Z, out of prison and put him on, or put him on, on a plane to wherever he was or a boat or wherever he was to go, go to where he was, he had to go to, yeah, at that time, yeah. So big, big respect for Ronnie Brown. He's dead now, yeah. Rest in peace, Ronnie Brown. And uh, rest in peace, his, son, his brother, Ronnie Brown, yeah. They both died. Um, but Ronnie Brown died in a funny old way, really. Whether or not he assassinated him, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, uh, this is Bang Bang My Hill. Please uh, press the like button and subscribe. Nice one. Bye.